everybody, Cindy A. Lewis here, and if you have been on the series for the Junk Mail Envelope Junk Journals, this is the flip for through for the 2020 Reflections Journal that we created over a period of about a month, and this is for reflecting on the 2020 year, and um, I just appreciate all of you that joined me in this. So they're all the parts are named, you know, part one, part two, etc. And we're gonna do a flip through now. This junk mail envelope, junk journal, it's a tongue twister, is very full. And normally I would not tell you to fill up your pages this full when you're using uh, envelopes for an envelope journal. Um, but we wanted to see some different techniques and different ideas for each month. And I will tell you, it is so full that you can tell, you can see that the envelopes are not all lined up right on top of each other. However, they are glued very well. And so I don't have any concern about them staying together. This is my closure. It's a little headband from Dollar Tree with a poinsettia paper. It's kind of a thick paper flower glued onto it. And let's move in. This is the cover. Um, I put the cover on with one sheet. All my months are one sheet and then decorated. This is washi, washi tape here. And you can see there's no break in the paper. It's not panels. So let's go into January. As you can see, here's January, and it's really fun. <laughs> the, the, junk, the junk journal is so full. So I made a tab for each month. Here's my little snowman, and here is my tag. That's a little tuck spot there. And then I did add a, a pail of snowballs to this page. Have plenty of room, I can add more decoration to it. I can write on the back of my tag also and add pictures. Then February, my little tab came off, I'm gonna have to fix that. Um, February is here, I've got a pocket here, so in love with you, and I have room here. I can cover this if I want to, and then I have a tag there. Then here is March, and March is when our COVID memories started. So I made some little mini toilet paper and mask, face masks out of paper, the hand cleansing, and then double pocket here with a little calendar for March. My little tag is a flower, and I have a tag here. Oh, this is my tab and then my tag here, and then I have a little old um, phone message paper to use for writing down memories. And I put a little bit of lace here. Now, April is fun. We did a belly band on this side. April was when I started my YouTube Appreciation Month, so we're coming up on a year. I have a tag here. I put a doily in the back, back there. I have another tag here, and a tag here that I slipped in, and a pocket. Then for May, I took one of the flowers and used it for my tab. I added some more flowers. This is a little maypole in my, uh, on my page. I have some more tags here and decorated with these beautiful birds that were from the other sheet. I was trying to decide what to do. Also put some of that lace, that old timey lace looking there. Then here we have June. June is when we made this uh, gusset here for the uh, pocket and you could add more to it. We took an old piece of um, uh, dictionary paper and made a tag there. This is also a pocket where we cut the envelope at the top that was already there. And then we have a tuck spot here 
that you could put in something else if you want to. And decorating more and more is acceptable. Again, I will tell you the junk mail envelopes will only hold so much. So we may have to get into doing a real big regular junk journal, but let me know if you're interested in that. It does take time. And as you can see, this is 11 videos, so it's a lot. All right, a little um, paper to write on. Got the red, white, and blue for July. Um, one of these fighter eagle planes, um, F-15s and the July tab, belly band there. Then August, memories of buying, putting our house on the market. Got these little stickers that may need a little more glue. Um, these are from the Dollar Tree, these cute little house stickers. And then we made a, like a little, not a waterfall, but like a little open and close here of our uh, papers just where you can write memories on and how to put that together so that was kind of cool put some clouds in the sky and then we went to September and September's here my tab is at the bottom made a little opening here for and then some um, uh, little baby envelopes little tiny envelopes with pockets so plenty plenty of space to add things there and uh, Miracles Happen, Hope, those are just some things that I put in there. Then we have October, trying to get into that theme. Got this little doily here that I can put a picture or write on, really, really pretty. And then we have a tuck spot on this side and made some homemade little tags there. And then we'll move into November. And here in November, you've got a pocket here that is really tight, just saying. And then this envelope here that you can put things in as well. And you can see how tight this is. And then for December, um, we made this where it opens up like that. And you've got this little, uh, this is an index card or recipe card that we made some time back. We've got some charms we made. And then on this side, this is a pocket as well as, you know, it's like a double pocket with our charms. And that, everyone, is the Junk Mail Envelope Junk Journal 2020 Reflections. Thanks for watching page by page as we went through the flip through. Anyway, have a great night.